I'm going to go ahead and pull up my key factor instance. Um, and I just want to show you how easy this is. So, so you pull up um, your privilege access page here. So this is where we would instantiate all of the uh, PAM providers, right? So we have a CyberArk instance here that I've set up uh, for us already. Um, and we can see, you know, these values, they come from, you know, just uh, stuff out of the, out of the uh, CyberArk interface, right? So, so here we are. Um, and actually on their, on their web platform is where we would go to pull out, you know, our application ID, and our private ARC safe. Um, so let's, let's, let's just go through a demo with, with CyberArk at this point. Um, so if we go over here to our certificate stores, you can see I've already created uh, two, but I'll go ahead and create another one. Um, so the uh, key factor agent is residing on my release machine. Um, we'll go ahead and put the certificate store at, I'll just, let's just put it on my user's desktop. Uh, and we will call this the CyberArk uh, store. And that'll be a JKS. Um, and then we just click set, set the store password here. And then we can, we have the option to either type it in and store it in the product directly, or we can load it from a PAM provider, which is what we're going to do here. Um, so in this case, uh, what we want to do is simply supply the password name, which again, we can get right out of the password vault here. So this is my, this is my safe key factor test safe one. Um, and we don't need that. That actually goes into the provider when we set him up. But if we step into this safe, we have uh, a couple, we would have a couple passwords, but in this case, I just have, have one. So test password one is what I'll be entering here. And then of course we need to supply the folder. So you can have, you know, different uh, folders in your, in your vault. We just have the root. So that's what we'll be using here. So we'll save that. Uh, we are going to create the certificate store. Um, and then we'll just check on it every five minutes or so. So we'll go ahead and click save. Um, and similarly, we can do the same thing for a psychotic safe. So if we, or a, a psychotic, um, yeah, safe. So if we go over to the um, same thing, I'll just set, set one up on the same machine, roughly the same location. And this time we're going to load from the psychotic uh, provider. So in this case, um, the psychotic provider is over here. And um, again, these are these are the values I, I pulled to set up the provider on that PAM management page. Um, and then if we just go over here um, on their product, we can grab our password. Um, so all we need is the ID, which shows up in the URL here. Uh, so we're just looking for pat secret with ID one. So we'll put that in. Um, and again, this is a new store, so I'm going to go ahead and create it. We'll check on them every 15 minutes. So there you go. Um, and now we can go look at our orchestrator job status. And if we look, uh, it looks like the CyberArk store has been created and is now being inventoried every five minutes. So now any operations that we, um, that we perform on, on the CyberArk store, the Psychotic store, uh, that's going to pull down the latest credentials from CyberArk or Psychotic or whatever PAM solution uh, is being leveraged. And that's always just going to pull down the latest credentials. So you don't need to worry about, you know, if you're rotating the passwords to your stores, you don't have to come into your, um, your certificate management tool and change those passwords there as well. They're just going to get updated every time you, you uh, access it with the agent. And of course, uh, that is all going to be monitored and you have your alerting and all, all, the, all the different um, luxuries that a, that a PAM management solution would offer you, you know, you're still going to get that benefit uh, every time the agent pulls out the, the password to access that store. <laughs>